you were saying some very specific things about the production of the last episode, about how much time was cut out from when you uh, were making it, from how many weeks you usually had more time and you had much less time, that uh, the uh, animation director didn't get a chance to see it before it actually aired. Um, the number of sheets or cells that were used were decreased dramatically. And I was wondering, I don't remember the specific things that you said. I was wondering if you could repeat that and also tell me if you think that had any impact on Hideki Anno's vision of what the last episode was and how that might have influenced further uh, with uh, Death and Reaper later on. That's a tough question. There's actually someone who's in a better position to answer that than me back at the, in the back of the room. <laughs> I, I, I forget myself. Well, let's, let's answer uh, your individual uh, questions one by one. Uh, when you're working on the uh, television series, it's often the case that uh, you push behind schedule, so that um, a lot of so um, as as the series goes on, the schedule you fall more and more behind, and by the final episode, um, your schedule is re you're you're really behind schedule, and uh, so is the animation production process. And in, in the case of Evangelion, apparently that was a very uh, dire situation. That's what I heard, and um, that's what I talked about with my friends. I, I, heard that, I heard that for the production of episode one of Evangelion, um, the, the studio devoted six months to its production. And uh, I remember that uh, by the last, the final episode of Evangelion, they had a production uh, schedule of one week to finish, a, uh, finish an episode. So, uh, granted, yes, the production schedule does have an effect on the, the content, what you can put into the content of an episode. And um, so, if you look at the last two episodes of Evangelion, they're made in a very uh, special fashion. And um, you, you, you could always sympathetically um, interpret that as a, something that was intentional on the part of Hideaki Anno. <laughs> I think by that time it was already uh, decided that there will be a theatrical uh, production of it. Uh, 
So uh, I'm pretty sure that Hideaki wants, it didn't want to really compromise on a uh, short production schedule, but instead uh, did the cons uh, work to do something that um, he could uh, put forth all of his uh, the didactic material uh, as, as the, on the forefront. And um, I have a uh, hard time figuring it out, but according to director Hideo he says that the last two episodes of Evangelion and the, uh, the, the theatrical feature that is Evangelion are exactly the same uh, story. And um, if, if the director says so, then it must be true, even though I, might, I don't really see it, I see it that way myself. So uh, if you really um, analyze the two versions of the same story, then perhaps they are really the same. <laughs> and uh, Hideo Kian, I don't know, is, is a hard man to figure out, yes. And uh, speaking of production schedules, uh, has uh, has the season two of the Bingo has has that been broadcast in the states yet? Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, for for that, up until episode nineteen of the second season, they had uh, they had about a six months production schedule for each episode. And uh, since the director is a friend of mine, I called him up and said I'd like to help out, help out on your show. And so um, he gave me some work. It was work for the last episode of the big second season. He gave me the storyboard and he told me that uh, I have a deadline of one week to finish it. <laughs> So um, pretty much the productions, how you fall behind a production schedule is pretty much the same as, uh, for any show. But uh, thanks to all the lead time they have to starting up a show, um, the, the, the first initial episodes tend to have higher production value on most shows, most shows these days. So uh, these days it's been the trend that um, the, the initial episodes have high production value and then you start to see compromises in quality as you go down, down, down through the episodes and um, they tend to get uh, corrected or updated in the DVD release. That's the recent trend for uh, video re uh, animation production. And, uh, that, that kind of uh, updating tended to be the exception, but these days there's been a lot of uh, digitizing at work so that um, people can just digitally record uh, what's on broadcast on the air and then run their own DVDs and um, that would uh, that, that that would compromise the actual sales of the, the, the release version of DVD. So apparently a company ha companies have wised up and they've decided that um, they, they, they should update the quality, the production quality of a uh, of, uh, mid-season episode or to add additional footages not on that wouldn't uh, broadcast so that um, there would be incentive to buy the actual release DVDs. Uh, although that means uh, there's more work for animators and that's only uh, makes the uh, work uh, tough for, uh, tough for us. Well, uh, there was a lot of questions to answer. How about, how about uh, something lighter? Any other questions? What do you feel is your favorite 
the most uh, satisfying <laughs> uh, satisfying Well, a satisfied artist is a non-existent entity, but uh, having said that, I would say uh, my uh, so far I've been most happy about the, uh, the my work on the Oh My Goddess movie. And, uh, I, I am an animator, but um, I was uh, I got involved in the in the in the story making and the plot elements uh, for this movie, so um, it was uh, good work for me. And also, um, when I'm working on animation, and when I'm just, uh, it, it could be someone else's work, but when I'm just doing uh, key animation, uh, that, that tends to be a happy work. And uh, when you're an animation director, you're pretty much uh, spending your time correcting other people's uh, work. But uh, it's it's fun because you're actually doing creative work when you're uh, doing actual TV animation. There, there, there might be uh, confirmations or, or negations of rumors if we, if you wait a few more, uh, a few more months. But uh, for now, you just have to be patient about it. So, uh, so it's not. I'm not at liberty to disclose or, or actually confirm or deny anything. But um, there might be a more solid confirmation or denial of such rumors if you are a bit more patient. Publicity about this show uh, in uh, Japanese uh, animation magazine, so I, I'm okay. Uh, so I think I'm okay to talk about this on the record. It's the the story about the Count of uh, Monte Cristo. Oh, uh, a, a science fiction version of the Count of Monte Cristo. 
And I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the science fiction arrangement will be very uh, different from the original uh, novel. And the pilot film is already up. The director is working on the storyboard for episode one right now. And uh, currently I'm working on the character design, design for the show. And as for uh, video games, uh, there's a uh, video game where, uh, uh, what was his name, uh, Watsuki, the, uh, the manga artist for uh, Rironi Kenshin, is, is the, uh, the character concept um, artist for that show. Or for the video, or for, for that video game, um, I'm I'm uh, helping out on um, work on that video game. And the the actual finished game is going to be a polygon character game, so um, the characters will probably not resemble that of the original Watsuki characters or any of my uh, uh, of my, of my uh, uh, polished uh, character designs either. And uh, those would be the the, uh, the the works I'm like I'm, that I'm at liberty to uh, talk about right now. Uh, what is the inspiration your characters in? What motivates you to make this beautiful work? The character design, the character design, Uh, when I'm doing uh, original character designs, I would be talking with the director and uh, would decide on the direction of uh, the, the trends for the characters. And um, when talking about specific, specifically about the, the, the free face characters, well, well, for any characters, uh, we just talk talk about it, talk, talk over it with the director, and then decide on the character fashions. That's about it. Soccer type characters that you created. Did you have any specific ones that you enjoyed, not just the girls, but the villains as well, from the games series? Soccer type is a character design. It's not just the characters, but the players as well. And uh, also for villains, um, pretty faces are fun, but uh, burly characters are, are, are just as fun to, to uh, do. And, uh, could you please repeat the question in English for the benefit of the audience? I have a, a, a fair question. Then. Uh, it's, is it, has he met other people in the industry, such as uh, the creator of the music, uh, Mr. Nagumo Romance? <laughs> Well, I only met him at the uh, at, at the wrap up party. And uh, he looked like a very uh, hardworking person, uh, and um, I like his work. Uh, his his the, the, the movie music was very good.
Where did, the, uh, did you come up with the idea for the bargain? バルグニアイデアですね。バルグニアイデアをえ、答えていただいたけど。だと、どっから来たんだろう。もう、もう、僕じゃなくて多分、赤堀悟とか、そのあたりの。あ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ
飯田さんもそうなさいとまあそうそうたる先輩アニメーターたちが同じ場所で仕事をしてたわけで。Well, back then,、um, people had sto- today's、uh, story animators such as、uh, Yoshiki Saramoto,、uh, Hideaki Anno,、uh, Ida, Asai, those who were all, the, all these、uh, today's story animators were in the same studio、uh, working on the same feature. And、back then,、uh, most of these people were young unknowns, and、uh, they were all eager to,、uh, to, to make a great work and get their name known. And it was very,、uh, it was very great to be among these people with, with, with、uh, so full of enthusiasm. <laughs> And uh, uh, although、uh, Hideaki Anno already was a famous animator back then, so、um, I was in awe to see an actual、uh, human being who was,、uh, who, who was Hideaki Anno who was、uh, walking with us. And, um, and、uh, talents like、uh, Hideaki Anno tend to, tend to attract other similar talents. So, other people like、uh, Mahiro Maeda came to Gainax. And another one、uh, by the name of Hiroaki Goda.、Uh, he was, he's the character designer for Please Please Teacher.、Um, he, he, he joined up at Gainax. And、um, I became friends with him. And since then, I've been working with him ever since. So, um, that's、uh, prompted by a question I just realized and looked back at my past.、Um, I've, been work- I've been in the anime industry for the past 18 years, and I just realized that I've been always working with the same people. <laughs> back then, I never thought、um, that I would be the character designer for a work.、Uh, Work directed by、uh, Mahiro Maida. Okay, next question.、Uh, what's your favorite series? The one that worked that I've done? Yes. So this. Oh my god, this. That would be、um, Oh My Goddess. Sorry, folks. Hi, when y'all leave here,、uh, I'm going to give you one of these tickets in case you want to come for autographs later.、Uh, that means if you have a ticket, that means you have priority in line for getting an autograph. So you know, we have long lines, priority in line. Make sure to get a ticket. Press one, my way up. Thanks. <laughs> Any other questions? Sorry.、Um, this may be a little bit obscure, but was, is he familiar with、um, from Robot Carnival, Tale of Two Robots, that was done by Sadamoto san? And did he have any role in the making of that particular、um, short film? Uh, of course, I'm familiar with the, with the segment. 
ってはありはしてないなぁその頃動画マンだったもしかし動画やったかもしれないな I, I don't think I was involved in that I, I, I had to be an in-between animator back then I may have done some in-between for that Possibly That would be say、uh, 16, 16, 18 years ago You would like to ask or talk to、uh, someone? Was, was there ever any character that gave you particular difficulty? Uh, difficult to draw? So, It took a lot of time to get used to drawing Bell Dandy. But I was a kid, 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 And、uh, so there were, there were already、uh, a lot of fans of Oh My Goddess, so、um, I had to live up to their expectations. Anything else, or is everyone eager to.、Uh, uh, are there any. When you d e s i g n e the character, are there any. Anything or any. any Basically, any influence from American culture or ways of life? Yeah, like American culture, the Superman, and American culture. American culture, the 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 American culture, the
やはりあの一緒に仕事をしてる人っていうのは結構刺激を受けるもので。It's always a good, it, it's, it's always the, uh, often the case that、um, you can get inspiration by、uh, people working on the same show as you. So,、uh, people like、uh, Hiroaki Goda and、uh, Takahiro Kishida. And、um, you also、uh, always are conscious of、um, their skilled animators. Such as、uh, people who work on、uh, production IG features. And also、uh, Takeshi Honda, who's、uh, hiding at the back of this room. <laughs> Recently, well, relatively recently, just a few years ago, I,、uh, I, admire, I very much admire、uh, Satoshi Kon's work. Oh, and、uh, probably because I worked on his、uh, work for such a long time, I've always been、uh, admiring、uh, Kosuke Fujishima's、uh, artwork. And、um, he, he so frequently changes his art style, I, I have a hard time keeping up with it. So,、uh, we, if and when I do another production of All My Goddess, I'm pretty sure that、um, the character design style will slightly change once, once again. Actually, I、uh, prefer digital production over self production. And the reason is that in the traditional cell media,、um, as the artwork went from key animator to anim key,、uh, anim animation director to、uh, in betweener to,、uh, to, to finish up. Uh, the, the, the art would slightly get skewed every stage. And、um, there's been less degradation as,、uh, in the production stages when the production is digital, so I'm happy about that. But there is one thing that I regret about、um, digital production. There's, there's been a、uh, slight、uh, decrease in, in how you can enjoy a hand drawn、uh, mecha in、uh, digital productions, and、uh, that's been slightly disappointing. これを人間が手で描いたんだっていう驚きっていうのがあって
Actually, one of the uh, joys of watching animation is to be impressed that they, that uh, human beings actually drew all this by hand, and um, and uh, there there are some ways of digital production that deprives you of that kind of uh, joy. So um, I, I'm slightly disappointed in those kind of, uh, of uh, different deprivations. On the production of uh, Blue Soap Number Six, a very uh, skilled animator worked on the, uh, the on the, the on the mecha animation. メカとエフェクトがすごい上手いんですけど、そのメカとエフェクトがデジタルになった時、その人のシーンなのにその人のメカとエフェクトが見れなくて残念だった思い出があります。And uh, but uh, as the production went to uh, 3D, his uh, his true skills at uh, drawing uh, mecha and effects such as uh, smoke was uh, truly displayed on the screen. So. Uh, I was uh, disappointed that uh, you couldn't enjoy that anymore. And um, thanks to uh, digitization of work, um, I think you see uh, more work with a uh, neater uh, quality. So I think uh, actually the work environment has become more uh, women friendly. Uh, we want to uh, do the tickets. I think we have time for one last uh, comment, questions, uh, and anything you want to say to Mr. Matsubara, unless everyone's so eager to, uh, to, to line up the tickets. Or, actually, actually uh, one, one question to the audience from Mr. Matsubara. Has everyone, everyone seen the last installment of the Lord of the Rings? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I see. Uh, the Japanese release of the of the the Return of the King is uh, going to take place over this weekend while while I'm at um, Katsukon, so I'm going to miss out on the premiere. So um, I'm planning on um, catching it when I get back to Japan. Was it a long movie? Yes. Yes. Okay. あ、でもそのままあ、そのことだけの、あの、いいな。そのまま。ぐらいで、ぐらいで、ぐらいで、ぐらいで、ぐらいで、ぐらいで、ぐらいで、ぐらいで、ぐらいで、ぐらいで、
これがティーチャーをやって、ちょっと気が済んだみたいですね。So、uh, during the time he was working on a m i g a r e s he was all restricted to、uh, being a director and、uh, he couldn't do any、uh, animator work and、uh, his frustration was mounting. And、uh, he got some release by working on Tease Please Teacher, so、um, he might be ready to go back now. So that's why、uh, there's been a blank in production. Well, I guess、uh, I am、uh, releasing some tidbits by your, 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 your prodding. Okay, well,、um, I guess our time is up.、Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.